Are UFOs real? Mm. Hmm. That is a question a congressional <laughs> committee ponder today. They looked at video like this, what's mm -hmm. called unidentified aerial phenomena. A hearing covering this topic hasn't been held in 50 years. Yeah, so one lockmaker warning these sightings need to be taken seriously. Unidentified aerial phenomena are a potential national security threat, and they need to be treated that way. For too long, the stigma associated with UAPs has gotten in the way of good intelligence analysis. KPIX 5's Wilson Walker <laughs> talked to some UFO believers. And is this one of the phenomena that we can't explain? I do not have an explanation for what this, this specific uh, uh, object is. It's very significant. It's been 50 years since we had our last UFO hearing, and it's about time. For the state director of the Mutual UFO Network today was a very big day, and by this afternoon, Ruben Uriate had already watched the hearing twice. He says, if nothing else, the government is again on record as saying there are plenty of incidents that they simply cannot explain. We want to know what's out there as much as you want to know what's out there. You're watching the military there before Congress acknowledging something. Does it feel a bit like we told you so? We told you so, yes. Yeah, it's a historical moment and hopefully uh, people will accept this as, hey, we are dealing with something that, that something that's very real. I, I deal with it actually every day, Wilson, because every day I get emails or phone calls from people. Now, a senior astronomer at SETI, Dr. Seth Shostak, has made a career of looking for extraterrestrial intelligence. I don't think we're being visited, no. I've never thought that. Uh, there, there are a lot of reasons I don't think that. But he thinks today's hearing looks a lot like the last time the government admitted it was looking for something. They weren't doing that because they thought, well, finally, we're in touch with the extraterrestrials. They were thinking maybe we're in touch with some new Soviet craft. And I think that that's the fundamental interest of the Navy these days. I mean, they just want to know what these things are because, you know, it could be something that's significant. I doubt it personally, but it could be. So no bombshell evidence or any real answers today. But for longtime believers, it was a small victory just to see Congress asking questions. The stigma is going to change, uh, I believe, and people will take this more serious. In Fremont, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.